Here's the 1983 RCA Color Track 2000 Digital Command. And this is a lot like the Lyceum sets. The Lyceums would have just had this part here where the picture tube is and would have had the speakers on the sides of the cabinet. But this really has a good sound system. It predates the uh, application of stereo TV broadcasting. So what it has is an auxiliary input for audio so that if you had a, a stereo uh, video device at the time, like for instance a, a stereo VCR, you could actually hear TV or actually hear material in stereo. Or like I think maybe at one time things like MTV, they would have broadcast the audio on an FM radio station sent down the cable in stereo so that you could hear uh, the music in stereo. And I need to fix this uh, control panel escutcheon. Um, I have to try to glue it and then put something on this to weight it. But I'm using a remote control to operate it because some of the buttons are kind of not working quite right. Here's the control panel. Bass and treble controls, color, tint, black level, and picture, and sharpness. Here's the audio input switch. Mono, DD, or external. I'm trying to think of what DD would be. I really don't know. Sounds like somebody pulled out of a stop sign in a hurry out there. But I've got it in the external position now. And let's see if we can look behind it. The weird thing about this is it doesn't have any casters on it. And it's pretty big and heavy. You'd think they would have outfitted it with casters. But there's the auxiliary input. You can see down down there. And it, the, the kind of the strange thing is it does not have a direct video input. The Lyceum models would have, but this one doesn't, so I've got to use an RF modulator for the video. So, and then this silly thing, um, the RF modulator crapped out on it, so I've got to use an external one. The tuner, it's a digital TV tuner and DVD player and recorder, but it's RF modulator quit, so I'm using the external one down there. Let's see if I can turn it on. And with this remote control is not the exact right one, of course. It'll turn it on, or turn it off and adjust volume, but it won't turn it on. I think this one uses those big, the big rectangular remotes, and, I, and somewhere I've got a couple of them, but I don't know offhand where they are. I'm going to put it on channel 4 now. And let's see, it's, I got this just little cheap antenna on here so I can only pick up one channel. I'm going to try and get a better antenna set up on it. Just have to, just have to skip through all these channels here. Channel 2 is the one that it can pick up. This has really good bass to it. I'm going to turn the volume up with the remote. You won't have to wait four weeks to get your new wave oven. Now get the new wave in just two to five business days, guaranteed. When you call, ask about the Supreme Pizza Kit for delicious and perfect pizza every time. And ask about the optional extender ring kit that can increase the capacity of your new wave oven to fit up to a huge family size 14 pound ham. Try it in your home for a full 90 days, and if at any time you're not completely convinced that this oven is the best cooking appliance that you've ever owned, simply return it for a full refund of the purchase price. But keep the New Wave Twister and the New Wave Party Mixer, a nearly $200 value just for trying the New Wave Oven Pro. The New Wave Oven is a Better Business Bureau accredited company. Feel secure in ordering. So there's the RCA color track. I'm still not sure how you change the shutter speed on this camera. I'm sure there's a way, but if you saw some black bars on there, it's not on the TV itself, it's just the camera.